Hi! Today we're going to look at the Singled Element Plus Starter Kit. We're going to do a little unboxing and a little bit of a review as well. So here we go. So one of the reasons I bought this was because I was looking online for a couple of reviews on this. Really couldn't find much on it, so I went ahead and just uh, took the plunge. It's 60 bucks. you can find it at AT&T or their website as well. So there's actually two ways you could control this. One through their app, which you can control the color temperature and the brightness of the light. And then you could actually control through AT&T's Digital Life app. There's AT&T's Home Security and Automation. It's a paid for service, but for the fact that you could actually buy this and fold it in and just go to one app instead of two, I thought that was actually really convenient. Now something really cool is it does come with the base station and two of the lights. Uh, like I said, it was 60 bucks, and that base can control up to 50 light bulbs. You could set timers on them, you could control the color and uh, how bright they get. Uh, I mean, it's pretty awesome. You know, making an investment on here is uh, pretty substantial. I mean, these are just light bulbs, let's just, let's just be honest. Uh, however, these light bulbs are really good quality. They actually have uh, really good craftsmanship on there. They also have a pretty good weight. The other thing as well is the glass on there seems really substantial on it as well. So if I were to drop this, I'm probably going to mess up my floor. Um, beyond that though, it, you can't put it in direct rain, but you could actually put it underneath the eave and still use them outside. So I thought that was kind of nice. The only thing I wouldn't like about it so far is that there's actually three different apps, so if you have three different types of bowls that they sell, it can get a little confusing if you have to jump between them. But beyond that, the setup is pretty simple. Literally, you download it, register, plug in the hub, connects to the hub, and the light bulbs are already synced up to it, so that was pretty nice. Once the hub syncs up, you're greeted with a really cool uh, green initiative. What they do is for every bulb sold, they will go ahead and plant a tree. Now that tree you could pick where they plant it. So you could pick North America, Africa, South America, and another continent as well, which is really cool. From there, you just get a certificate. It shows that you did your good deed and that this actually didn't hurt the environment. It just was a, a neutral factor on it. Now this is the part I was super interested in is the app itself. The app is really, really well put together. It's really simple though too. Pretty much you could control how bright the light gets, or what color temperature it is. So uh, what's really nice about that is if you have other bulbs, you could actually make this the same color as those bulbs regardless of what brand you have. Um, or you could just make it your own if you have a, both the bulbs in the same room. Now as you see I could turn uh, off and on the lights right here. This app is also available with Android, uh, which is really nice because it's identical. A lot of companies don't put the same effort they do with iOS with Android. Uh, so that's really nice because I do use both devices and it just makes it for a seamless experience uh, regardless of which one you're using. One of the things that that really drove me to buy this product was the fact that it works with AT&T Digital Life. That's AT&T's home security and automation system. Now I want to actually show you how to connect it to the system which is pretty simple. Just go to your app, hit menu, hit self connect right there. It'll give you an option of third party services that they do offer through the AT&T app. You'll see some agreements that you have to click through and then from there it just lets you know you're going to a different website. Pretty much it just routes you to uh, the Singled website where you just log in. Once you're logged in you just hit yeah I grant permission to AT&T to control the system as well and then boom you're all done. You just go right back to the app. And from that app you could actually go ahead and control those bulbs. Uh, you could turn them on, turn them off, and you could actually change the brightness of those bulbs as well. You can't change the color temperature, however, you can fold it into the rest of your automation system. So if someone comes to my front door, I could actually have that light turn on. If I wake up in the middle of the night and walk by my motion sensor, I could actually also have that light turn on. So it's really convenient in that sense, even though I can't control the color temperature from the Digital Life app. So now it comes down to would I recommend this product. Absolutely, I definitely have to. There's two reasons for that. The first reason is that its own app is killer. Okay, It works on Android, it works on iOS, and it works the same, which is something you don't see a lot from manufacturers these days. 
The second reason I would recommend this is the fact that this works on third party services like a first party product. Now I'm going to let that marinate for a second because what's really cool about that is the fact that this integrated into my digital life seamlessly. It works just like anything else I bought with the system which is just phenomenal. But this also does work with the Amazon Alexa and eye control system. I'm not familiar with eye control but the Alexa is pretty cool too. So let's just say you have a dot or an echo in your house and you say turn on the kitchen light. It'll go ahead and turn on the kitchen light. Just knowing the fact that this has the ability to integrate into a system that you may already use I mean that in itself is worth the value so that you don't have to actually go to a separate app so you could check your thermostat or another app to turn on a light or a third app to go ahead and see your camera you could actually use the digital life platform or you could use the Alexa platform which is voice or eye control which I'm not familiar with but I imagine it's somewhere in between the two I mean what do you guys think like comment share whatever you got see you next time